I have designed the CPU, I have designed the silicon ARM chip, SOC, and I worked on the operating system, so I really know very well how computer boot. So what is the booting in computer? When people say boot, what does it really mean? So this is the topic for this video. Booting is when you turn on the power, how does a computer get the program? There are two different types of computer. One is called a von Neumann, one is called a data flow. And data flow doesn't have a booting problem as von Neumann, so we are focusing on von Neumann machine. So what is a von Neumann machine? It's a type of machine you have a memory, store the instruction, which is your program, in that memory. There are two types of memory. One is a volatile, one is non-volatile. The volatile memory is your cache. So you have a central processor called a CPU that will read those programs. Those programs are stored first in the cache, which is very expensive and fast. And then is the, your DDR memory, which is a little bit slower than the cache, but also very fast. Both cache and the DDR memory called the volatile memory, which means when you turn off the computer power, those memory will be gone. So where are your operating system and your program stored? They are stored in the non-volatile memory, which are your hard disk, which is pretty fast, but is a little bit more expensive. And your USB, for example, your USB stick, it's another non-volatile, or your CD-ROM, or you can load for over Ethernet. So if you are loading through Ethernet, it could be stored in any of the memory we described. So because the computer is so complex, they have so many components, you can store all the information at the very beginning to a place you can retrieve easily. It's like a satellite rocket, it have a different stage. So the first stage is you are loading the boot loader itself. You have to find a configuration on the computer which one to load first. In the laptop or PC computer, you have something called a BIOS. BIOS is the place, it's non-volatile that store your information just for the configuration, just for the loading of the, the real program. So in that program, you have a list of things you can boot from. For example, you can boot from hard disk, and I will show you the, the menu. A hard disk, you can boot the uh, CD-ROM, you can boot from USB, you can boot from Ethernet. Normally, your operating system is stored in the non-volatile memory. For example, the most common is from the hard disk. This is true for PC or laptop. Uh, for Linux, for example, there are three to four megabytes of uh, operating system. So you need to copy that part, three to four megabytes, from the hard disk to your DDR memory. That's usually is the goal of booting. Now, in this case, my laptop hard disk has a problem. There's some problem on the hard disk, the program correct or configuration or just Microsoft doesn't make sense. So what do you do? You need to alter the booting sequence. Instead of booting from the hard disk, you have to change your settings such that you can boot you prepare, for example, a USB drive with operating system or with some program that fix the operating system on the disk. And I will show you some other programs that you can do. Or you can prepare a DVD or CD-ROM instead of booting from the hard disk, booting from the CD-ROM. 